Morrison. I'm Rebecca. My name's Connor. Right, so uh, our performance will be about old people with dementia, and what we're doing is we're gonna re like we're gonna ask them questions about what the best memories of their life was, and we're gonna re like we're gonna perform it back to them so they can relive it again. We've basically spread it over three days. We thought we'd do half an hour workshops with them for two days, and we're gonna like basically communicate with them and ask them about what their golden memories are and we're just going to say it's okay to share if you don't want to you don't have to we're not going to pressurize them into it and then on the last day we're going to come together think of all the memories that they told us and create a performance so that they can relive all the golden memories that they really enjoyed um, to get to the care home uh, we're going to either use the buses and just carry all our props and gear with us on the bus or we're going to hire a minibus to get there, but we haven't decided which care home we're going to yet because we haven't found one. So yeah. Um, my job, my job was to like to um, um, just make make like lace lace work for like it for like in dimension in on on the care homes and what what we got talking talking about. So. And basically, um, basically, I'm going to share it on like Facebook, Twitter, uh, any social network. Uh, my role is the stage designer. Uh, one thinking for this performance, it's going to be minimalistic, less props, less hassle. Uh, also, it doesn't distract from the actual acting. It was kind of lets them see the memories but without the white noise in the background. It also, because it's dementia, it's going to be also in saying that it's going to be more on its own as well. Because my idea is you show the memory then it gets tweaked a little bit more at the time as a performance until it just turns into blank. My job uh, is the liaison. So I'm looking at the care homes we're going to go for. We've, I've looked at Barton House. Uh, it's got ex veterans in it as well, so it's got dementia patients and all other kinds of mental illnesses. We've got First Hall in Failsworth. I've contacted Barton House, but I'm still yet to receive an answer, and I'm going to contact First Hall later today. With your workshops, um, you've um, what kind of interaction slash workshops what are you thinking to do with the elderly people? Like, we was basically thinking we could try and speak to them about things and like if we get them doing little activities they might want to talk to us more because they might gain more confidence in us and they feel like they can trust us a bit more than what they could when we first got there. So they're getting to know us as whilst we're getting to know them as well. So, yeah. So would you call that a researching part? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, with the information you're sharing on social media, what information exactly are you sharing? Um, it's basically like what we're doing at the care homes and if anyone else would like to come and join that feel like they need to talk about their golden memories as well and basically to tell the care home what we're going to be doing and what activities we're going to be doing with them and when we're going to be performing and stuff. Okay. Does anyone else want to add on to uh, With me, uh, my nan's starting to get into old age, so she's, she keeps on retelling old stories, so my family thinks that she might be like, have dementia, so I'm going to see if she wants to come join us, get in with the activities. Uh, sorry, but uh, I'm not thinking the elderly people, they lived a more eccentric, unique life. And just, we are trying to make, not, sh not shun them out, but we try to embrace the ideas. So if they tell us what they love about their memories, we want to perform that, not exactly what they want it to be. If it's not accurate, they still want to see the perfect memory. I think it's a lovely idea. Oh, I don't. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.